Welcome to our tutorial about if statements. I've got a small program here. What it does is take numeric input from an input box. In the next line, it performs a math operation. Then it passes the value to a variable called result. The next line displays this result in a message box. Let's see how it runs. I'm going to enter 50. OK. Here's our result, 55. OK, let's go back to our code. Now what if I want more control over what my user inputs? If that's the case, then if statements come in very handy. Let's select the if then statement. So what's happening here? The if statement evaluates the expression. If it's true, then the code in the if statement is executed. Otherwise, the if statement is going to be skipped. Let's type an expression. If is numeric. Zero equals true. What I'm trying to figure out is if variable A holds a numeric value. If so, then the code inside the if statement will be executed. Let's run our program by clicking OK. And let's click OK. Since variable A does hold a numeric value, our code gets executed. We end up with the result of 10. Let's run our program again. I'm going to enter some text. And let's click OK. I end up with a blank message box. Let's improve our code a little now. Let's bring in an else statement. Now let's type a message for our user. I'll paste that here within double quotation marks. Please try again later. So what's going to happen now? If the evaluation statement is true, then this portion of the code will be executed. If it's false, then the else portion of the code will be executed. Let's try it out. Click OK. Enter some text. Text, and let's click OK. And here's our message. Please try again later. Let's change our expression just a little more. I'm going to copy this line. And I'll paste it right here. Comment out the top line. Now let's type some code. If A equals 5, then the result equals 10. Let's add an if-else statement now. Let's type here, if a equals 10, then the result, and I'll just paste that from above, equals 15. And let's run our program. OK. So let's enter a value of 10 and click OK. And here is our result, 15. Let's run it again. Enter a value of 20. Click OK. And now we get the message, please try again later. Let's click OK and get back to our code. We'll make some more improvements. I'll comment out this portion. And I'll copy this if statement. Right-click and paste it right here. Let's highlight the nested if statement and let's indent it. Just for the purposes of clarity. And I'm going to copy this line. I'll paste it right here. 
Let's change the message. Please enter the number 5 or 10. OK, let's review how this routine will run. After the user enters a value in the input box and clicks OK, the if statement will evaluate this value against the number 5. If a equals 5, this line of code will be executed. If a doesn't equal 5, then this expression will be evaluated. If a equals 10, this line will be executed. And if not, this line will be executed. The input box will pass the value over to variable a, and then this if else statement will be executed. Let's try it out. Enter 20. Click OK. And we have our second input box. Please enter the number 5 or 10. Let's leave it at 5 and click OK. And here's the result in our message box, 10. This concludes our tutorial about the if statement.